tell us what's not as attractive or as I as women think it is? Basically any intentional misdirection. Like playing games. Hard to get. Only hinting towards feelings. Never saying anything. Etc. Like I don't think I've ever looked at someone and went oh. They can't communicate at all. God I wanna date them. Flirting or making out with my dad when trying to make me jealous. Just fck her dad to make her jealous. Putting other girls down. Gross. Intentionally difficult to read signals of interest. I don't consider myself dumb at all. But I'm no genius either. If it feels like I'm trying to decode hieroglyphs with you. I'm probably gonna give up. When they think being crazy is like a positive or attractive thing. Like you I punch my boyfriend if he doesn't pay attention to me I'm quirky lol. Like no you're just toxic. Abuse isn't funny when women do it. And I wish we'd quit normalizing it. Granted. We're getting better. Like when Cardigan Bakayardigan talked about how crazy she was like it was a joke and not an abusive relationship. Do unto others. Man. Playing hard to get. I will give up. Calling yourself a crazy bitch. Playing hard to get and then asking why you aren't interested in them. Just f king insane. Somewhat related but I had a girlfriend who. At the start of the relationship. Stated she was serious about her Christian values and didn't want to have sx until marriage. Alright. I'm cool with that. I'm more in it for companionship anyway. So I never pushed the issue. Then when the relationship ended. She complained that I never made any moves. Like. What do you want? I respected your values. Sorry I guess. Pretending to not notice me. My current girlfriend would purposely bring conversations to a dead end to see if I would keep talking to her and bring up new topics. She was interested in me and was trying to find out if I was too by continuing to talk to her. However. It came off as she is not at all interested in me and did not want to continue talking to me. Please don't do this to anyone ever. Edit. Because this blew up and I told my GF about it. We are still in a relationship. I really enjoy being at it and we are very happy. She did this only over text when we first started talking to each other. But the point still remained the same. I felt as if she was wasn't interested. But I guess that wasn't the case. My dad. Acting dumb, if it is an act. Being anything other than genuine. It's really hard to do. Since we're all scared that if we let people see our true selves. They won't like us. But the truth is that the true you is the most beautiful you. Playing hard to get. Man I absolutely hate that and I know many agree with me. Edit. Thank you so much to everyone who commented. Voted. And awarded me. Very much appreciated. Hard to get. Makes you hard to want. Don't compare us to an ex. Even if we have a bigger dick. You're just building paranoia that we're constantly being compared to someone else. Edit. Holy shti thank you for all the upvotes. And awards. IDK what the light bulb is but I appreciate it. FCK yo EXS. Maybe literally or figuratively. Baby voice. Just no. Yee. Silver. Being ultra dramatic up and down. To be fair I think this works when young women do it with young guys. It draws them in. But as guys emotionally mature and figure out what they want out of life it becomes more of a red flag than a manic pixie dream girl situation. A female equivalent of the bad boy. When they take a human appearance over their natural ogre appearance looking at you. Yeah. Just be yourself if you want someone to have shreks with you. Reverting to the baby voice. Whittle lady. You got a sister that talks normal or something? Hints. We're not that smart. Just tell us. Edit. Oh my. Thank you for all the upvotes and rewards everyone. Don't fake interest in my interests. If you don't like football or video games just say so. Eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. 
The Cardation look. Pumped up lips and a disproportionately large butt are a huge turn off for me. It's just not natural. All the other Kims with the pumped up lips better run better run. Freakishly over the top moans or saying your cock is so big. Like. I know where I stand. Don't la lol. I mean I just wish they would stop saying is it and yet. This is forbidden knowledge. Not a fella. But I have no clue why people think it's attractive or cute to be jealous. The unnecessary elongated words. Hi doesn't need to have 30 eyes in it. Bi doesn't have 30 E's. Why I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Are you so woo Getting big lips. Just don't. It ain't attractive and it ain't worth it. Holy jeez. This is practically people just posting hard to get over and over again. Hum. S all harassment. Twerking isn't as SI as you think. Tattooed eyebrows. They're flat and devoid of texture. Like a cartoon drawing instead of a Rembrandt. With real eyebrows you can relish every little detail. You linger a moment. With tattooed brows you're stuck with this thing which draws your attention but then makes you look away. As someone who is attracted to women but not a man. My instant turn off is hearing someone talk down about other queer women for having had male partners in the past. Gold star worship is fking gross. Having had sx with men doesn't instantly mean a woman is going to cheat on her female partners or that she's changed or damaged in some way. I've definitely heard both of those notions casually tossed around. Besides, isn't reducing women to what they can provide is surely one of the things we hate about misogyny? Acting entitled. I had this girlfriend. She demanded to draw a chair for her when we were in a restaurant. She demanded to open and hold the door. I'd have done all this even if she hadn't asked me to. Just out of my love and care and general chivalry but her reasoning was I shall do it purely because she is a girl and she is entitled to it. Purely due to her gender. That is some shtty entitled attitude. In this thread. Genital piercings. Orange spraytons. I saw too many of those in prom photos. You don't look SI. You look like Trump. That fake surprise. When it seems like they're completely astonished to see you. You could just say hi. Instead of what are you doing in my house. Jerking a dry dick really hard. You're just mashing it and it hurts. Slow down. Every comment in this thread is talking about the same damn thing or. Duck face. Squatting side look Instagram photo. Lots of makeup. Long fake nails. Fake eyebrows. Seriously with this one you look like a mannequin. Don't get girls obsession with shaving their legs. Calling me daddy. Exaggerated PRNO moans dirty talk. It's weird and awkward. Yeah I can second that as a woman. I have a girlfriend and sometimes she just goes all the way off. Like don't get me wrong I really appreciate the effort it just makes me feel awkward. It's like they are giving a performance rather than enjoying what I'm trying to give them. Calling me daddy. Okay. The big fake fat ass. Barely eating anything when we go out for food when I know they want more. Haven't seen it yet. Very obvious fake tan. There are usually three types of girls. A shade or two darker. Borderline blackface. And Oompa Loompa. Though I'd prefer a girl's natural skin tone. A barely noticeable fake tan can look good. Anything else just looks bad. Baby talk. Long ass nails. Or disproportionately huge booties. I like my butts tight. Those horrible. Huge. Fake ass eyebrows. Oh. And lip injections. Yuck. Excessive makeup. Except this is literally a lie in a lot of cases and women know it. Probably all women have heard this over and over again and finally caved and went without makeup for a day only to be asked over and over again are you feeling okay? 
You look sick. Did you sleep okay last night? No Dan. I just have dark circles and dry skin and gunk in my eye and thin eyelashes today because you lied and said you didn't like makeup. These answers are a bit frustrating to me as a woman. When I was in the dating field guys were all over the girls who portrayed the answers given. If I made myself available. Sounded smart. Etc. I was considered undateable. But I'd I dumped down and acted and like myself then I'd get a date. If these things are really not attractive to you then why do most guys still go for these girls? Someone is lying. Edit. I never expected this to gain traction. I want to emphasize the when in my original comment. I'm happily married to a great guy who I'm comfortable being myself around. I'm also a little older than some of you may think. Half of what people are saying on here are massive red flags lol. One stroke for thick makeup. Fake nails super long nails in general. It. Women doing things they enjoy that don't cater to my perception of SI. Acting like going to the gym working out is a personality tray. Girls being toxically controlling and overbearing. Like a girl not letting her BF have any time to himself and always have to know what he's doing. And then when you try to see what she's doing she blows up in your face. Why do girls think that makes them look cute? My takeaway from reading a bunch of comments. Don't hide who you are. Plastic surgery. Fake voices. Unclear intentions desires are all very unattractive. Just be honest with who you are and what you want. Edit. Just going to edit this comment to acknowledge that people get plastic surgery for many reasons and or to many degrees. I absolutely realize respect that it can be something that improves lives. It. Men who don't know what things they don't want actually look like. Huge amounts of makeup. The less the better emo. Calling the guy daddy. I've never played hard to get. I've tried to run away. And then the guy thinks I'm playing hard to get. Being an IG model. Lip fears. No man has ever said man. She'd be so hot if her lips were more full. I'm a girl with full natural lips and that's like the first thing men compliment on me. Entitlement. Twerking. A hegeo face. Just stop it. Edit. My first ever award. Using Instagram filters instead of showing their natural face. But then I look ugly. Uncomfortable shoes. I hope you feel attractive and s in them. Because wow. It's painful to watch you hobble and struggle through the car park. Using mental health problems as a selling point. See a therapist. Stop showing off like it's something to show off. Whatever the FCK girls on Instagram are doing. Giant lips mostly. It. Things women don't find attractive either. Lip for years injections it's never. Drawn on eyebrows. Makeup as a whole is fine. But shaving off your eyebrows just to draw them on just turns me off. Edit. I mean specifically shaving them off to just draw them on. Drawing on eyebrows because you don't have them for whatever reason, medical or not. Like if you've got light light blonde hair, is perfectly fine. That's just touching up emo. My cousin draws her eyebrows too high. When I told her. She looked surprised. Playing hard to get is annoying. Especially when she's given signals that couldn't even be picked up by NASA. I don't want to be too pushy either so I can't tell if she wants me to stop or to ask her out. Just let us know. You don't have to flat out tell us. But be risky with the hints. Telling me about your past s or exploits in detail. You don't like when guys do it. What makes you think I wanna hear about it? Is this like a stealth flirting tactic that I'm not aware of? All men here thinking that everything a woman does it's so that they look si to them lol. I know it's all the rage right now. And some guys probably like it. But septum piercings do not do a damn thing for me. Big fake dial per butt cheeks. 
wearing the tiniest tightest mini skirt and the highest of high heels and then walking like a toddler on ice. Fake anything. Standard things like boobs and excessive makeup. But also fake personality. Social media is only making this worse and more widespread. The fact that in some countries, especially South Korea but also recently Brazil, it's socially expected that girls start getting plastic surgery around 16-18 grosses me out. This may be an unpopular opinion. But any piercings other than ear piercings. It saddens me to see a girl vandalize her beautiful face by poking shards of metal through it. But to each their own. Long nails. Fake nails in particular. As a woman. It's interesting because I always looked at them like WTF are they wearing those ugly nails for? Men don't find them attractive at all. Then I had them done for prom some years ago and I felt like the baddest bitch on the planet and I didn't care what anyone else thought about them. The intentional goofy faces they make in pictures. I've heard from more than one woman looking back at her old Facebook pictures wishing she'd just taken more normal smiling pictures with their friends back in the day. I completely disagree. The silly pictures are the ones I treasure the most. To me it reminds me of the fun we were having. The people we were. I find the posed smile to be bland and lacking personality. She doesn't need you to fix it. She just wants you to listen. Yep. Yep that one hurts. That was a major factor with my ex. She'd be upset. She'd want to talk about it. But if I asked any questions. She would completely shut down or get pissed that I was interrogating her. Or that I had any thoughts at all beyond your life is bad. The universe hates you. It always has. It always will. No idea how to walk that line. Between be caring and supportive. Be invested. Show interest. Remember. Try to understand and don't do any of that. It's just clear I'm not the one she needs. Being a bad bitch. Like basically being someone who loves starting shti and having problems with other people especially other girls. Hand jobs. Maybe it's just my ex. But it's a trade off someone else rubs your dick for you. But they aren't familiar with how things actually feel. They are alright for a bit but after a while the friction just hurts. Some spit or lube goes a long way. Trout pout. Duck face in photos. It's hideous. Oh so long nails. Oh so long fake eyelashes. Oh so the whole I'm a wild and carefree spirit who can't be tamed. Act. I'm not a ref king zookeeper. Oh so pouty lips face in pictures or that crazy face girls make when they want to smile for the photo. But at the same time want their eyes to look big. We can see you doing it. It does not look natural. You know what looks good. You're natural. Unforced smile. Teeth and squinty eyes and all. I feel like a lot of the answers are missing the point of the question and just are saying things that turn them off. Which is not really the question. Smoking. Any type of facial injections. Look man. We all have our aesthetic preferences but this whole thread is just about ragging on people's sense of style. Sometimes people wear things because it pleases the wearer and they're not trying to seduce Randus on Reddit. If you don't like a thing it probably means you're not the intended audience. There's enough pointless hate in the world. Let people like what they like. Botox. Lip fears. Being cutesy or being a free spirit. It's fun for 10 minutes. After that. It's tiresome. Being generically SSI also becomes tiresome. Just be a person. That's the most attractive and or SSI thing you can do. Talking in a baby voice. Acting entitled with service staff. A hegeo face. It isn't SSI it just makes you look mentally deficient. I do not like fake eyelashes. They are immediately noticeable and make you look weird. The duck face look and almost all lip enhancements like injections. It looks like you're having an allergic reaction and I feel like I need to get you some Benadryl. Edit. OFC. Not cleft lip surgery. 
entirely necessary for a good call. Exceptions to every rule but this is reddit and someone will take this comment to the extreme if I dod clarify. Those lashes that cause typhoons when they blink. When a woman tries to sit on a boner to tease you. To me it just hurts when she sits on it if it's tucked away into my pants. Sit on her boobs to return the favor. I'm just reading this thread and thinking. I'll just die alone I guess. I refuse to give up my acrylic nails and I plan on buying some fake tits. Square eyebrows. Being dumb. I hate when girls act stupid or ditzy. Give me a smart. Confident woman who can talk about complicated topics any day. 1. Playing dumb. Just come out and say you like us. It's a quicker way to our heart and we would be happier if you were upfront and stopped giving us mixed symbols too. Body piercing and tattoos. I think some girls think body piercings make them more attractive. And so do tattoos. But I never really saw the attraction to them. If you do them for you good on you. But if you think more men women will like you because of it then I think it won't work. 3. A lot of people probably won't see these the same way so I will state that these are my opinions. Comma giving us mixed symbols. Yeah I hate when they do that winding shti. I think if someone is getting permanent ink for someone else, to be more attractive, you got bigger things to worry about. Most tattoos have a story behind them. This entire thread is kinda weird. 99% of the time when women do these things, wearing makeup or fake nails, posting selfies, etc. Comma they aren't doing it to try to be SZI for men. Can women just do things for themselves without men making it all about them? Having an enormous disproportionate ass. I cannot help this. I'm autistic. So if you try using subtle hints I'll assume nothing is going on. Lose interest and go home. Having a husband. Fake boobs. I don't get why women go through all that trouble and money. They always look fake. And never feel as good. Because my sad ass saggy titties after birthing and nursing two kids made me feel about as SZI as a flaming bag of dog tea. They were also uncomfortable. In the case of a mammectomy yeah fair enough. But fake boobs for the sake of fake boobs. I have fake boobs. I did it 100% for me. I had nursed two kids. Had flappy mom boobs and just felt disgusting. I ended up have a breast augmentation and my boobs look and feel extremely natural. But I didn't go huge or with saline. I think the fake boob thing depends on size and type. Really happy with my decision and having done it for myself.